On October 18, 1972, Congress passed the Clean Water Act. Waterkeeper organizations across the world are honoring the 40th anniversary. This bold legislation, put forward by visionaries in Congress, returned control of our nation's waterways to the citizens of the United States as part of the public trust. Before we began to grapple with regulating water quality, some rivers were so polluted that their waters could burn. The Cuyahoga River in Ohio caught fire more than a dozen times from the 1860s to the 1960s. Something was wrong. Water was not providing life, it was killing it. Congress's 1972 goal was to have eliminated all discharges of pollutants into the nation's navigable waters by 1985. Almost two decades later, in 2002, the Environmental Protection Agency mournfully acknowledged that the water quality in many parts of the country was in steady decline. Pollution in our waters comes from many forms and from many sources. Discharge from industrial plants, sewage treatment facilities, as well as runoff from our streets and backyards can have a negative impact on our water quality. Pollution in our great nation is diverse. It includes disease-causing pathogens such as bacteria and viruses, as well as carcinogenic chemicals such as benzene, dioxin, PCBs, and trichloroethylene. Siltation is also a major pollutant in many southeastern streams and springs. The mission of nonprofit Tennessee Riverkeeper is to protect the Tennessee River and its tributaries by enforcing environmental laws like the Clean Water Act and others, and educating the public. The organization is a proud member of Waterkeeper Alliance, aligned with over 200 similar waterkeepers around the world. Tennessee Riverkeeper and the Waterkeepers will keep fighting for the basic right to swimmable, drinkable, and fishable waterways.